What up, people? My name is Buzz Shop. I'm presenting a product review um, of the Shigeki Shadow Cast, which I just bought. Well, I actually, I actually backed it on uh, um, Indie Indie Coco. I think that's that's what it's called. And uh, I just received it last Thursday. I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to use it much, but I decided to make a YouTube video about it because I feel like some people may need it. It's not a confusing thing to use whatsoever, but I got a, I got some issues with it um, when I first used it because I couldn't get the the sound working for my um, my game for some reason, but it's working now. Anyways, let me show you the shadow cast right here. This right here, this tiny little flash drive looking device is called a Geeky Shadow Cast, which is the a game recording device that can help you stream from your nintendo switch playstation xbox whatsoever to your laptop and you can play your games on your laptop it's really cool i just tried it um this past saturday and it worked actually very well and i'm actually very pleased to see how it works and i hope to use it for some proper streaming it's very inexpensive it's um about forty dollars um it was cheaper if if you backed it it was, I think it was like $30, but now that it's actually being sold as a retail um, product, then it's actually going to be $40. It might even be $50, but either way, it's a very good investment as compared to other um, streaming devices on the on um, the market. It'll come in this little box. This little box has a process to demonstrate to you how to actually use it. On the back, it'll say you can open the app, which is something you can download from your... Um, your laptop's app store then you can connect the usb-c cable um to the shadow cast and then you put it into and then you put the usb-c into the laptop and then you put the actual shadow cast into your device your gaming device of choice therefore i'll be using a nintendo switch for this because that's just my you know <clears throat> that's my uh my favorite uh device out right now but yeah let's get started so I have my Nintendo Switch on the floor right here. My room is so dark. I hope that helps. Um, yeah, so this is my Nintendo Switch dock right here. My Nintendo Switch is right by me. This is my laptop I'm using. It's an Apple laptop. And we're, I'm gonna show you straight up real quick. The Genki app. And then you'll see this screen. This is the home screen of the Geeky Arcade app. And then on this screen, uh, just leave it like this after you have it up. So then you take your Shadowcast right here. You connect it to the wire that they provide you, which is a USB-C cord. And you put it on the, um, let me see. You take this end, you attach it into the Geeky Cast. It's a very simple process to set up, but I just wanted to show you up because I, I actually you know I actually had a hard time for some reason. I just the, my only problem was that I couldn't get the sound working, but eventually I found a solution for that. So you take this and then you put it into your gaming device. So this in this case will be my Nintendo Switch though. So right here, my switch dock right here. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put in into the HDMI outlet. Because it takes the same um, slot as the HDMI cord does. Boom, boom, bam. I got my charger plugged to the wall to make sure my dock works. I'll get my switch. My switch is right here. Put in. And now I'm going to connect the end of the Kinkas um, cord, which is a USB-C um, out um, input thingy. And uh, since I have an Apple laptop, I have the M1 um, 2020 edition laptop. Uh, so it has a USB-C outlet on the left side. Now it's in, and now you'll see a black screen. 
So this is where I got confused. What happened was I, let me turn it on first. So I have my switch on right now. Let me show y'all. I have my switch on. I put it into the dock. Now I'm going to have to, I'm going to um, get it displayed. The only thing I had a problem with was that I thought it was going to display in the app, but you actually have to put it into, you have to connect it to a certain, um, another app in order to actually see it. So that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. I actually tried Zoom and it worked on Zoom, but I found another option as well. I found that you could do, do it. You can do it on the actual website, which is very cool. So I'm gonna do it real quick. I'm gonna show you all on Zoom though. So I made a new meeting just by myself, and boom, you can see my. You can see my game. Let me get my. Do I have my pro controller here? I do. So you can see me using my pro controller to control it. <sighs> it looks fine. It works fine. It's uh, very responsive. Let me show you. Yep. So it looks it looks good. Um, and this is but it's on Zoom. I could not hear the audio. And that's not very cool. So, and that's not what I'm not, not what I'm aiming for either. So, what I did instead is just you could use Zoom if you want. I don't think you, I don't think you could actually record anything on there, but I just used it just to try it out. So I'm going back to the Genki Cast. Um, I mean the Genki Arcade app, and now I'm going to try to get to the website. I hope I remember. I tried this on one Saturday. And it worked out, so I'm uh, maybe I don't even have to do all that. Let's see. Oh, I key don't remember. Okay. Switch it up either easily. It's not this. It's not this serious. Cause I found that you could do it literally on the website. See now here it's easy. Literally, like I know y'all saw what I just did, but I'm showing y'all again. So what you do? You search Genki Arcade app. Then make sure you have JavaScript on, which you can find on Mac. You can go to your um, Safari preferences, and then you go to security and enable JavaScript. It should be um, automatically enabled, but just to make sure you can check it again. So I went to the app, X for my camera and microphone. And uh, it works here. Look at that. My gosh, it looks so good. And you can hear it. So I'm not sure what happened with the app it's itself, but for some reason, I can hear everything, all the sound effects, but if I was on the app or if I showed it on Zoom, for some reason, it doesn't even show up in the app. But that shows up in the app, but it doesn't. So instead, I went to Zoom. On Zoom, it only shows the, kid, the actual video. It doesn't show the, the sound, or I mean, um, display sound. So instead, I just went to the website and it worked. So let's try, uh, I'm gonna try something that's 60, 60 frames per second. So I'll try Bayonetta. Cause you know, Bayonetta 1 is uh, runs at 60 frames per second usually. I'm gonna show y'all the difference between it running at 60 frames per second. I'm gonna show y'all the difference um, on 30 frames per second. And I'm also talk to, talking to you all about um, latency as well. So as, as like uh, what I said before, it's very quick, low latency, low everything. That's awesome. Since I'm playing with uh, one hand, cause I'm, sh I'm streaming, recording on my phone. I promise you, I've never made a video like this before. So bear with me here. I'm an immature. This is immature video content, but it's okay.
Maybe I can't play this game with one hand. Shoot. Look at that. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. It feels like 60 frames per second. I'm not playing as fast as I usually play, but because then you would really be able to see how the lag works. But for right now, it plays just fine. Anyways, that's it. I want to embarrass myself. Sorry, yo. Should I play Smash? Would y'all want to see Smash? We could play Smash. If you don't want to see Smash, just skip to the next part of the video. What shall I eat for breakfast? I had I had a big breakfast. I, I ate so many donuts. I had like my dad brought me some donuts, so I, I ate that. And they were very good. I hope y'all recognize how long that Smash Ultimate's loading screen is. This is definitely not the app, it's just <laughs> it's just Smash Ultimate. So I am not going to go online. I like my GSP, but I will demonstrate a quick match. I'm not a Bible player, I'm a Bayonetta player, but it's alright. Bayonetta slash Ridley. If y'all see me, y'all fighting the boss up, he's, he's playing Ridley, beware. Did I play Smash with one hand too? I'm a, I'm a, I was born a gamer, y'all. I came out the womb playing Smash Ultimate. Come on, what's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I get it anyway. I'm not here. But yeah. Um, like I said, still works. And now let me do something that's 30 frames per second. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 runs at 30 frames per second, so you got y'all can see how that works too. Anyways, 60 frames per second games work very well. Um these I just put I just tried two 60 frames per second games, which are which were Bayonetta and Smash Ultimate. Um I'll rewatch the video. I'm I'm not sure how YouTube compression will work, especially I'm streaming on my, I mean I'm recording on my phone. But whatever it is, just know that. If you came here um to find out how the Geki uh, um Geki Shadow Cast worked, I hope you got what you were looking for. This might be a spoiler, I'm sorry. I beat this game a while ago. It's a very good game. I hope I can stream it too, because I just started Oh, I was supposed to, whatever, whatever, it's whatever. I was gonna start the uh, Future Connected um, series I had, but that's right. Be careful, y'all. This is actually very spoilery, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just run around real quick. I'm gonna show y'all latency. I, don't, I really don't remember its area though. I don't remember his name, but yeah, I'm sorry. I remember Xenoblade Chronicles 2 more than I remember this game. Thank you. This game is cool too. Is this gonna take me to find a boss? No, it's not. Anyways, y'all know y'all. I'll see the point anyway. So. And that was all just me playing it. I didn't actually start recording or anything, but I'm sure if you press some of these buttons, like right here. Um, that one. Okay, so this button it takes a screenshot and it'll save to your laptop. This one records it, as far as I know. And then uh, this, you can change whatever you want here. Language, uh, mode. So if you want to want better res, I mean better, you know, better um, visuals, press resolution. If you want better frame rate, performance. 
I had um frame rate um frame rate priority, so you all see how it was very efficient in it. Now it's kind of it don't look as good. Uh, well, it looks fine, but it doesn't. The uh, latency doesn't feel feels good. But it's it's whatever. Now. So yeah, as far as I know, that's it. Um. So yeah, that's it. Um, I don't have anything else to show you all. I also bought these other two things as well. This uh, Bluetooth thing for the Nintendo Switch. Straight from um, Genki as well. They're awesome. And uh, I bought this as well. This is an adapter. It's on Genki's store as well. If you put in the USB-C adapter into the back of this adapter, you can uh, connect it to whatever USB A port you need to connect it to. So that's awesome. Yep, that's it. That's all I have to show y'all. I hope this helps somebody. Um, like that's it. If y'all want to catch me, catch me in playing this uh, these games on the stream, which I probably will now that I have this device with me. Um, I hope y'all check me out. I'll leave it a, a link in the description. I'll be a lot more funnier on there than I am here, but whatever it is, whatever the case may be, um, I hope y'all got you know got some help out of this. Thank you.